Hello, my name is Wendy Young Reed, and I am the co leading program chair for this year's spring meeting. Uh, I'm also a business development manager for ChemStations. Today I'm going to be interviewing a Dr. Al Sacco. We're excited to have Al as our speaker for the first ever joint lunch between the spring meeting and the Global Congress on Process Safety. Al is currently the Dean of Engineering at Texas Tech University. But during his talk today, we will be learning about his experiences as an astronaut aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia. Thanks for joining us today, Al. Thanks for having me. So my first question is, what are the key insights you'd like the audience to take away from your talk? Well, one of them is that uh, process safety is extremely important, safety in general. But what I was surprised to find out, well, I'm not surprised to find out, but it was uh, pleasant to hear, is that when I called down to NASA to get some information and told them I was going to talk at this conference, they all said to me, safety. They know more about safety than we do. You're going to be talking to the world's experts. Uh, so what I found out, which I didn't know before, is they, they follow what uh, the process safety community here does. So I want to give them sort of kudos that they're really uh, world renowned and, and uh, they are the basis of a lot of things that we did on the show. Wow, that's excellent news to hear actually. Um, another thing I'm interested in is how do you use what you learned in, during your space flight experience in your current role as the Dean of Engineering? Yeah. Well, you, this may not come as a surprise to you, but university safety is not the same as industrial safety. And uh, what universities typically do is what I call compliance. And compliance isn't safety. So what I've learned from NASA is the one, work as a team, and second of all, to embrace safety in everything we do. And I'm actually trying to get deans around the country to do that and provide leadership. Because safety is really a, a problem. And part of the problem that we have is we have students coming in and out on, a, on basically a four-year cycle. So it's constantly um, teaching them how to embrace safety rather than just meet compliance regulations. So that's what I kind of learned from NASA, this uh, embracing safety and everything that you did. That's good to hear. And speaking about the students that you deal with, what advice do you have for them as they start out in their careers? Well, the advice that I always give students, and I also give it to professionals, is never let your fears get in the way of your dreams. Because what I found out through my career, and, and being an astronaut is one of the people say, oh, you got an astronaut, how'd you get that? Well, a lot of it is just not losing confidence in yourself. Because what I've found is most people don't advance, not because of the obstacles that are put in their way by others, but rather by their own self-doubt. So I try to give that message to everyone. That's very good advice. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And we're excited to hear your talk. Thank you very much.